Hello everyone and welcome to MFL week number four. Sunday night football. We got the Warrior Gold Miners going up against the World Six Stompers. World Six Stompers are very excited for this game today because it'll be their very first ever televised game for them. So they are very excited about this game that is going on right now at this very moment. Uh -huh. And uh, Monday Night Football will be the World Six Ground Pounders versus the World Two Desert Pyramid. That'll be uh, tomorrow, and I'll see you for that game as well. But today, we're going to be talking about the World Six Stompers, which we have not been able to see at all uh, for the past three weeks, folks. Three weeks, they have not been televised ever until today. And right now, they're just looking to get another win in their uh, win column. Right now, they're on a two-game win streak. Let's see if they can make it three, as they are 2-1 and one on the season. Radio C and the World Six Stompers. We're ready to send this one away to the Warrior Gold Miners here. The start of football game. He's going to be cleared across, and he lost it! He lost the football! He lost it immediately. If you don't tell your opponents, he'll go off and the Warrior Gold Miners are going to get the football to start off. He even fumbled it. He was the one I got around on by. Warrior Gold Miners are looking to get their first hand after their horrible loss that they took by two points against the Larry Defenders, who actually won earlier today against the Defender Champ. Brady! Where to watch out? Wario throws. Larry got tipped in the air! And it's a count to a Pyro He's got the pass here. An easy first down for Pyro Trooper. That's such it. And they really got tipped there by Goomba, who ran right into Purple Yoshi. It gets up a little slow. But he's good to go. Only going on this. Holding already first, which they did in the last game. They started rolling first. And that's just late, late, late game. Ready, watch out! Wario gonna throw it. Pass, and into his hands, and Paragomba is all over the place. Ah, uh, Trooper again, with another first down. Here we go, Wario, back at it again. Here we go, 180, watch out! Wario dancing, found it. Over here in the corner for a yellow toe, he falls and he goes. But a little tap there by a blue toad. We'll see if we find that he's down. Getting a few extra yards of just about five for this first catch of the game. 118, Vartak. Warrior throws. And run right into the hands. He's in a catch for a touchdown. He thinks it is. He really thinks it is. And they're gonna say an incomplete pass. He was out of bounds. Wow, even after Warrior's great pass, jumping over the fender and throwing it. That was intense. Now let's just watch this replay. His foot, it looks like it was in. Okay, let's just run this back real quick. Let's just run this back. Right there, look at that. He is in bounds. That there will also be the last play. Of the first quarter. The end of the first quarter, but after after review, the runner on the field has been reversed as the as the runner got a foot inbound. Therefore, we have a touchdown. So he's all good here, but he's got a touchdown. Final play of the first quarter, and it's a touchdown goes down for the Warrior Goal Miners. And uh, right now, we're going to head on to the second quarter, and the Warrior Gold Miners have made a field goal. So now, it is 7-0 Warrior Gold Miners as they take the early lead as we head back down for the start of the second quarter, or with 2 minutes and 56 seconds remaining in this uh, second quarter. Here we go, 2 minutes and 50 seconds left in the second quarter. As, you're, as the water go by, going to kick it off. He's going to, and bam, quickly gets hit um, in the legs. But he's going to be able to get up after that crazy play here. 
And the Warrior Gold Winners who just kicked it off, so now we're gonna get to see what the World Six Stompers are gonna do here on offense. Goomba gets ready to take the field for him and his crew for the first time ever being televised. Whoa, whoa, Warrior's going, ooh! Lost a helmet and everything as Shy Guy comes here and brings Blue Toad down. He gets his first catch of the game for the first catch. All right, for televised for the World Six Stompers. Here we go, Goomba, after taking that huge hit from Wario there in the last play. And a handoff here, and Wario quickly, a toss up and a throw down! He's still whole, he's still held on to the football. Red Yoshi, you're talking smack at Wario, and Wario. Ooh. Here we go, the World Six Stompers after that run play. Uh, uh, Here we go, Goomba. Ooh! Of the Goomba! And what? What? He just came in there! And he's still on to the football! Goes down here for the World Six Stoppers! And Milwaukee on his way back! Here we go, World Six Stoppers! Get ready here! And they're on. The one yard line when they are ready to snap this football. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. sideline catch! Touchdown! Lord Six! Stop it! He's stopping on the football! And Yellow Toad doesn't even know what the heck just happened. He just got pushed away. And he was right there to swipe that football away. Goomba there took a big hit. It still survived. And still threw a great touchdown pass. The 18 now. Kick up and through. He's got it as a tight. Football game here at halftime. Hello, folks. It is me. Koopa Troopa Kyle here in the studio, yo. And now, let's go on ahead and talk about the games that happened earlier on today. So let's get into it. All right, first we had our noon game, which was the Lemmy Icebergs also versus the Bullet Trains, which the Bullet Trains have not been on a televised game since week one. And uh, the Bullet Trains there, they showed up really against the Lemmy Defenders or sorry, against the Lemmy Icebergs in 15 degrees temperatures below 20. And they still came out on top against the two-point phase. Now we have the defending champs versus the Larry Defenders. And the Larry Defenders absolutely demolished our defending champs here, 14 to three. As Mushroom Kingdom Brown has got the last few points of the game there with a field goal in the final one second before they lost big time and then early on today at 325 we had the uh, the DK Jonglers versus the Clown Niners the Clown Niners were 0-3 the worst record in the league and the worst record in the league got their first win today so now each team has a win in their uh, win column and uh, so now there's no more teams undefeated, and now there's no more teams without a win. So uh, this week was pretty big. And uh, let's head on back down to the field for the start of the second half. Paratrooper gets ready to get this one off. Back to the World Six Stompers, who just got a touchdown on the last play. He started making his cut, and he's going to try and cut back. He will not be able to. Up to the 15 yard line for the World Six Stompers. Here we go, Goomba is getting ready to snap this football. Okay. And what happened? Extended! He extended for the football! His teammate Blue Toad is excited that he caught the first down for his team. Here we go, Goomba. He gets ready. Alright. Wow, Goomba. And they're intercepted! He's got the ball! Here we go. He's got the break on the quarterback! That's it! And that's it! He's done it! He's hopping around. He's hopping around. He starts. He's rolling. Oh, he's 
says he's on fire. He says he's on fire right now after that interception. Pick six. The Warrior Gold Miners are trying to help him out. They're trying to help him out. They're trying to make sure that he that his feet are not on fire. And they are not, of course. But a pick six here for the Warrior Gold Miners. And they've got a pick six. World Six Stoppers were on a roll. And that pick six there really hurts them. Here we go, Paratrooper. After his pick six, he's gonna kick a field goal. Kick high, ooh, it hit it, it hit it. He's gonna get a redo, he's gonna get a redo. This year will be the last play of the third quarter. He's got it kicked, and it is down the middle. They got a seven point lead here. Seven point lead here for the Wario Gold Miners. This year, we got an intense matchup, a pick six. Wow, Warrior Gold Miners here are really trying to make it tough here against opponents that have not been on national television yet so far this season. And um, uh, the kick is up for kickoff. They're going to return it. No, it hits the back of the end zone. They're going to start at the 20 yard line. Let's run back down to the field where they start at the 20 yard line for the start of the fourth quarter. Here we go. Goomba after his pick six that he just threw on the last drive. Three, four, go, Goomba. The throw off there, what a catch! One turn with the catch, slice it away from the other two! A catch, the first down! What a catch! Here we go, Goomba is through, down the field. Right at midfield. Right at the 50 yard line. And they're gonna snap it. Three round. Long one comes. And interception! Oh, what is he doing? He's got points. He's gonna do it again. Pick six. Hands up the line. And what is he doing? He just flipped on the ground. And he's realizing right now. Touched him when he was down. It's another pick six. For his quarterback that was under pressure. Wow. Likely going to end this game. That play likely ended it. They had 30 seconds left here. And they're going to have to kick it off right on back to the World Six Stoppers. Here we go. What a bounce back for the Warrior Gold Miners after that horrible loss against one of the worst teams in the NFL. Squib kick, easily. Bam! Bunk right into Warrior's hands! He's got it! Warrior's got it! Stiff arm, yes! Sir! He's got it! And another touchdown of the football! What a football recovery! Wow! Another... Six points! Wow! Another field goal here! <laughs> Jeez Louise! Here we go. Kick down the middle! Another seven points! Wario Goldmeyer's likely ended this game. What an even bigger bounce back here from the Wario Goldmeyer. They're showing other teams that they're able to get it done on defense. Pluto here is going to get it. Jokes out, Wario, and a spin! He's going to have a kickoff return. And walks in real slow. He gets uh, another six points here. For the World Six Stomper right before the end of the game, two seconds remaining. The clock's going to keep ticking, and that'll do it. Bull Miner is king here and did business. To do what they were needing to do last week, and they weren't able to. Rosalina, the second MFL female coach here today, was not able to get a win on national television. That'll do it for us, and I'm going to say so long to see you on uh, tomorrow uh, for Monday Night Football. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share with friends and family all over the world. Don't forget that. Uh -oh.